Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me Nihai Hobo where we are currently sitting in a, a, an average parking orbit of about 125 kilometers. Um, what we're going to do right now, this is our ship in its current state, what we're going to do is um, we're coming round so that um, we're about here and then we're going to launch, we're going to take off and we're going to start heading towards Jewel. Um, I will be doing an episode on how and why, um, in fact, actually, uh, 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 auto say it's fine, yeah, um, yeah, how and why we're doing that, but for the time being, that is what we are going to do, in fact, actually, no, because this is so difficult to do, I am going to, I'm going to break my cardinal rule and save spam if, uh, if necessary. Um, because it's a bugger to get to. You have to be going three meters per second when you hit the surface. But also, this is a one-way ticket. We have enough fuel to try this once and once only. So I'd say it's about here was the the point I'm trying to get to. Wow, this rocket is heavy. I'm pulling back as hard as I can. Well, I'm pressing. <laughs> <laughs> really pulling back. I'm wrestling with and gro gra uh, grappling with the S key, trying to get this to do anything. And as you can see, progress is slow, to say the least. So we'll just sort of sit and wait. Add a bit of left to that. Uh, uh, we'll give it a bit of a roll as well. Oh, the roll's not too bad. But we might have to just square up on that one a touch. So right, the SAS will drag all this back into line. Da, 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 da. Can't do any more of that. You know the song. You've now got it playing in your head. I've planted the seed, but I'm pretty sure that copyright would uh, would have something to say about the unauthorized use of. Da, 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 da. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll start our counter, <laughs> counter roll. <laughs> Once we can get the, the engines going, we'll get the SAS on as well, and I should hopefully start to straighten everything out a bit. But shouldn't be a lot of fuel left in this stage either, and that will make things a wee bit easier. We'll just get that going. That's that make things... There we go. That's better. There we go, there you go, swimming like a space fish. And... That is the end of that chapter. Though it's still not exactly what you'd call sprightly. We are now onto these um, atomic engines. Uh, so... Expect progress to be slow. Uh, again, as I, I, I can't remember if I actually said it in the last episode or not, because I had about three or four takes trying to get the rocket up, but I'm, I'm struggling to get any sort of decent editing um, done because of not having Tinterweb. Uh, I don't have um, I don't have access to things like songs and special effects and stuff like that and it's actually quite difficult to do some decent editing when you lose the internet so I uh, I think we're going to sit and ride this one out but um, I can take this time to do Movember, and um, I'll zoom out enough so there's plenty of space for my beautiful mug. Here it is. Um, that's me with a moustache, 
uh, please sponsor me for cancer. The first 20 people who sponsor me two UK pounds, British pounds, sterling or more will be uh, in the season four, that's the 1.8 update of Kerbal Space Program. They will be uh, written in as astronauts for uh, missions to various celestial bodies or you know, um, maybe it'll be a trip around the planet because there'll be something interesting to see. I don't think they're adding uh, any sort of civilization, air quotes, un-air quotes. Um, but I know there are going to be some uh, significant changes, um, some uh, some great uh, game, well not game changes, but uh, game additions. Wow, this just does not have the strength to do anything, does it? This might actually need to become a, a little engine. In fact, we're slowing down. How the hell are we slowing down? I suppose technically I mean, we would be this is our slowest point here um, bit late to be to be going and doing ickle baby engines now you never know a year might actually pass and the duel will be in fact actually let's talk about that as well um, so yeah, the 96 degrees is the magic number there. Um, now, you could do what I do, um, and you could grab, uh, go into the kitchen and grab a piece of tracing paper. I'll get rid of this. Um, and stick it on your screen, and then you can pencil where um, Kerbin is, where Kerbal is, and where Jewel is. But this is when you want to launch. And then when you want to actually leave your planet, when you want to start your interplanetary transfer burn, is um, let me get my piece of paper. It's just a it's about where the mouse is now, roughly somewhere there. But of course, it helps if you have any sort of ability to accelerate. <laughs> um, little engine, little engine would have been a good idea here. Wow. I don't think you can... Oh, you can accelerate. Probably not a good idea, though, because we're going in all sorts of shitty directions. Because mistakes like that are ones that you cannot afford to make. You cannot afford to waste that much fuel. I'm going to keep it burning on the 90 line, even though our trajectory is, is way out of whack. We're also, um, our plane of axis is starting to suffer. I mean, these engines will eventually become more use. Um, so that's where we're trying to get to anyway. Well, not Bob. Um, the uh, jewel is, is in this little cluster of moons. I think I'm going to have to come back round again uh, because we've made no influence and uh, we're, we're now headed in completely the wrong direction. So let's go with this one here. I've maybe made this a little bit early, um, simply because uh, it's uh, it's going to take us quite a long time to, to rectify this. It's going to take us quite a long time to get into position as well. I'll just give it a bit of boost just so we can get onto things a bit quicker.
And settle down on the money, on the money, on the money, on the money. So that's growing. It should also be moving as well, is what we'd hope. This can do. Um, apparently now I can't uh, time warp, which is a shame because time warping would be very useful. Okay. Well, I mean, it's starting to the the actual rate of acceleration it's accelerating so we are so we're accelerating but um the rate of acceleration is is good ish just uh, a little over a meter a second so let's see so this is this is the line again we're still a little bit late So for anybody doing this, this stage here, you still want um, rocket engines. Unfortunately, I can't add any more of these to it for the time being. we could this is going to mess things up a little bit but it will probably help quite a fair amount to, to have all of the three of these going that's that looks better probably should have swapped those stages in fact I was just adjusting the chair, the gas cylinder's gone on this one. <laughs> so, I, uh, it's not long before I wind up on the floor. Like a pants. Giggity. <laughs> that was dirt, that was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> So we're starting to make some proper progress now. Still probably not enough uh, on the on the scheme of things, but so that's our first intersection. That's that's one way you could try and get out is is to slingshot round um, Minmus or Mun, but uh, it's not our way of doing things. So this is it. We're going for an escape. Okay, so that's our escape done there. Now, I don't know if we just keep burning. Um, I think we do. I think we just keep going. I uh, say, so go for it. So there we go, look at this for an influence now. Okay, so we don't have to worry about adjusting the uh, adjusting the plane at any point, because um, everything, for the most part, runs across um, the the same sort of axis as uh, as uh, curbing. Seems our rate of acceleration may have slowed down a little bit. I don't know actually. So 
So that's it, we're into uh, the sort of Duna uh, territory now. Yeah, that might have actually been quite a good place to intercept. In fact, actually, we, no doubt at some point we will, um, whilst pushing out here, find an interception uh, somewhere where we're going to come under the influence of Duna. Teasing this down, trying to keep it still on the 90 mark. Your, your aim, your trajectory, no, don't know about your trajectory, but my trajectory just will not seem to come down. Oops, sorry about that. Just scratching my foot and it just slipped a bit. But it's growing at a billion squidillion, vidillion, gajillion meters. Per momento, por favor. How much? How are we doing for fuel? These two tanks look they're about to drop out. Okay, so let's think about this. We need these ones to come in, but what we don't want is for this to happen just yet. But we do want to get rid of them. So, like this. Alright. Thinking pays off. Let's see if that's going to give us enough oomph to get all the way out here. Because it's taking a lot longer than it, it maybe should do so I don't know whether or not we're still going to be in time for this interception I just suppose given that that's going to be, uh, that's, that's, it's going to take an incredible long time, maybe a year to complete that. I shouldn't see that this two hours is going to make a huge amount of difference actually. Now thinking about it, I'm sure there's a little bit of tolerance um, in the amount of time. Just as a, an idea, I'm just wondering if going to the actual natural trajectory speeds up this acceleration anymore. And how much it's going to throw the course out by not being on it. I know I don't like that two degrees. No, I think I prefer being back on this line. I feel a little bit more comfortable down here for some reason. I'm certainly not accelerating as quickly. Maybe we just succumb to peer pressure. Allow 
the, the rate of acceleration to be better. Well, we have fuel through the centre section. Right, so that's the next one to go. And that one. In fact, actually, we can get rid of that now, can't we? And reduce weight even more. Or reduce mass. That's not great. But the last one that we're coming in now is with proper rocket engines. So they're going to sort it all out. These ones. Yes. So it's not done a terrible job at transiting us most of the way. I think I possibly could have done it if I hadn't been recording and I wasn't in a bit of a rush. Um, there we go, that's the end of that one. Then maybe, maybe that would have been a little bit different. This is how you do a planet transfer. I'm surprised that we've not had an interception on Dooney yet, though. Now, some of you as well will be going, well, you've got those stages back to front. Surely you want this stage to be um, your atomic engines. Well, I can see your point. Um... But no, because I wanted the atomic engines to get us between the planets. And then these ones are going to put us down on it. We've just got to try and come under its influence. It'd be nice to know where this is going to be by the time it gets down here. Sorry, the reason I was doing this is I'm looking at it in my peripheral because I don't want to take my eyes off. And there we go. We have an interception. It's a fairly stable interception as well. So uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll cheat um, a wee bit. I'm going to quick save it. And we'll fast forward to it whilst I do my outro. So don't forget you can contribute to get your name onto Kerbal Space, the next series of Kerbal Space Program. Two pounds um, is what that will cost, two pounds or more. Uh, of course, if you can give more generously, please do. You can do that by going down to the chipping widget, the link uh, the, uh, to the link for the chipping widget at the bottom of the description. And then uh, PM me or message me through this video saying that you've contributed. And then I'll go and uh, just double check and then... Um, I'll, uh, I'll fill in the details from now. Dot the I's and cross the T's, as they say. Um, but I would like to thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name is Nihai Hobo, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>